today we get to ride our cross plane R1. This is a 2009. It's the last model they made without traction control. So that makes for a very interesting ride. Now, I'm going to head up today to the Kinelon area. Now, there's a very unique thing happens up in this area. There's beautiful homes, beautiful roads everywhere. And among them is the road that I'm on right now. But here's the, here's the tricky thing up there. I've been stopped by the cops in this area. And they're not really concerned with going a little bit over the speed limit. What they're concerned with is the noise. And the, I, was, I was told, you know, as long as you're not making a lot of noise, nobody cares. And so I get to use these beautiful roads. But if somebody were to go up there with a really loud sport bike, you know, with the open pipes and all these Yashimura muffles and stuff, I got a feeling they'd pinch you right away. Now, this road in particular has radar on it from time to time. So what I always do is I ride up one way to the end of the road, it's about five miles, and then turn around and come back. And that gives me a little security, knowing I'm not going to get nailed. Now this video, I wanted to share something I had, that I had a phone call with Ray in Florida last night, and he brought up a point I had never really thought of. And I was saying, I'm coming up on my 76th birthday, Ray's a little bit older than me, and, and we're both still riding motorcycles and having fun. And he said something, and I thought this was pretty uh, worth sharing. He said, look, even at our age, we're still smiling. He said, and, and look around, not everybody in their late 70s or mid late 70s is smiling as much as we are. So I don't know how much the smiling has to do with motorcycles. It's got something to do with it, I don't know, but I don't know what exactly what. Of course, my psychiatry degree uh, expired 77 years ago. But anyway, the, the point I'm making is, and it, it just, every day when I come out to the garage and I try to think, you know, how lucky I am to have an, an involvement in something I'm passionate about that keeps me busy, gives me exercise. Um, it's not real expensive. It's not like owning a polo pony or something or a MotoGP bike or something. These old rusty bikes, they keep me busy, and I think they've added a nice dimension to my life. Karen agrees, and the farm has added a nice dimension to our life. So what's happened is we've, we've evolved into a thing this summer that I think it's, it's enjoyable for me to share it with my friends, or people that just tune into the channel for the first time. And, and we do get to, hopefully, we'll get to ride to today. It's just something I never thought of before. We're this age and we're still smiling, but it's also important if you're 40 years old or 18 and you got your first bike and you're still smiling, it's the smile that matters. And I've always thought the RD was the bike that made me smile the most and <laughs> maybe it is, I don't know. But, but even in newer bikes, I still get out here every day into the garage, clean up the bike, work on a farm and knowing that if I get to ride even an average of uh, six days a week, but I really try to ride every day. There's no secret about that. But, and today happens to be a fabulous day. We're going to get a couple hours of riding, probably three hours altogether, and be able to share it with you for free. And, and if you don't enjoy sharing a ride, well, you know, delete, delete, delete. I always say delete, delete, delete. But it, it is, Ray, I have to thank you. And uh, I had never really thought of it that way, but I'm thinking about that way now. And it happens to me from time to time, Karen or somebody, and even a neighbor, somebody will say something to me that it, I just think about it and then it, I think, wow, I, why didn't I think of that? I wish I could take credit for that. I can't take credit for this, but Ray, that was really something that added some enjoyment to my life. And I will think about it more as the time goes by. And for everybody, there's one thing we all have in common. We are, whether we like it or not, all getting older every day. So keeping those smiles in the package <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, today's a day, and I'm, I'm thinking it's an R1 day. An R1 day meaning no chance of rains, good traction. Uh, I want to wear that back tire out some more and get that Angel on there. We got a, a Pirelli Angel to put on. So let me get started and let me get the work done on the farm. Okay, guys, who wants to go riding today? Oh, you don't ride motorcycles. That's a problem. 
and I don't swim, so that's a problem. <laughs> but we all eat. And I always smile a lot when I know the whole bike is clean and I'm ready for a ride. It's pre-flighted. I've checked all the air and the tires and everything, and we are ready for a nice ride to Kinelon. And Kinelon is such a nice area. It is really a well-kept secret. Well, we're all pre-flighted up. Final check of the weather, final cup of coffee, and we'll be out on the open road. It looks like a heavenly day. It'll put a smile on my face. That's a beautiful way to start the day with some cross plane music. And just for reference, I'm already smiling. I haven't even gone out the driveway yet. Just so much nice scenery up this way so many beautiful homes so many nice twisty roads that do not have a lot of traffic it's a place I enjoy riding as often as possible and this one has yellow lilies wow how many other lakes have pink and white that yellow lily here. Crazy. No matter what kind of roads, twisty, straight, bumpy, smooth as uh, as glass, we've got some of everything on these loops, and this this Kinelon area is just really special. Days like today, I just uh, keep wishing I had a quick shifter on this bike. That MT-09 has spoiled me for a quick shifter. <laughs> I'm just spoiled, eh? but I know they do make it for this bike.
think one of my projects for the upcoming winter is going to be to get a quick shifter on this bike. A, uh, they, of course, they do make it. I just don't know which one yet. Now, no matter where I ride, this bike always puts a smile on my face. Ray, you were right. But I guess all bikes do. Now I have a thousand CC, the FZR, that has a one, two, three fire in order. This cross plane sounds totally, totally different. Takes the throttle totally different and seems to have a lot more torque. Boy, it's turning out to be one super, super day. You just never know when one of these super nice days is coming along. Some beautiful homes up this way, absolutely beautiful. Worth taking a little cruise on any day of the week. And on the way up and back, we do pass some really nice back roads with lakes on both sides, and that just couldn't be a lot nicer. It's that R1 engine, just like the MT-09, it seems like the Yamaha engineers have gotten that torque down low thing just perfect.
and it took me a lot of years to get the ergonomics on this bike to where I was totally comfortable in on a three hour ride. They're perfect now. Finally, at least. My favorite areas, all these beautiful landscape houses, just great. This is the town of Kinalon, by the way, the estate of Kinalon. A really nice place to ride. some of the main roads today had uh, surprisingly little traffic I don't know what it is maybe it's maybe it's just me Everybody I know that ever has an R1, they love the power delivery, they love the throttle response, and most of all, most of all, they love that low-end torque in any year. Now well, this day doesn't show any sign of even having a cloud cover. Oh, we really lucked out with this day. Wow. And I love the fact that I've got the ergonomics set up on this with the bars. That after three hours in a saddle, I get off the bike. It's like it never happened. And the comfortable ergonomics and that low-end torque just make this bike just such a great ride. Look at the reflection in the water here, how beautiful. Beautiful scenery everywhere we ride. Well, because it was such a nice day, we're out a little longer than I thought, a little over 100 miles, and we'll be back home over three hours. I'm usually gone not more than three hours. Today, I was gone an extra hour. Well worth it. What a great day. How's that coffee brewing? <laughs> Perfect. Oh my God, what a day this turned out to be. Wow. So nice not to be so, too hot or too cold. Now if I could only be not too old. <laughs> yeah, it was really nice. Beautiful, beautiful day in every way. I was smiling the whole way, just like Ray said. Of course, there's nothing left today. <laughs> Karen wants to work in a garden. And we will. What a day. Jet planes flying overhead. It even looks like the jets are back in business with their jet planes. So before I end the video, I want to thank the healthcare workers. Wow. What a what a beautiful day this was again. And guys, I know you stepped up to the plate on this COVID. Thank you so much. And hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. 
So we really do try to post something almost every day. And keep in mind, the areas that we ride, it's very important that the bikes not be too loud. And I've heard that over and over. I've not only heard it from one person. So I think the people in that area, they, they moan and groan about the bikes being loud, not about them going by at 100 miles an hour. So I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Anyway, we do try to share a video as often as possible. Wide variety of motorcycles and interesting things that we find interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now let's go get a quick shifter on that R1. See you tomorrow.